This is Arden Kirkland with a video about discussion for week four of the D4L community module. Remember your partner activity from week one in which you brainstormed some new ideas for alternative approaches to discussions online? This week, I'm going to give you some activities to work on integrating your ideas into your project. Once you get the discussion started, how will you keep it going wherever it is? If you're face to face, how do you keep the discussion going? How do you prepare in advance? How do you deal with it in the moment? What do you do when people aren't speaking up? We just have to figure out how to translate how you deal with all that to each different social media platform. That will depend on whether it's synchronous or asynchronous, public or private, and what kind of motivation your students have. Do they care about the discussion for its own sake? Or do they need to be lured in with the promise or threat of a grade? Think about all the different kinds of posts you might want to share as you reach for your learning objectives. There's a page in your workbook for you to check off all that could apply. And think about how they would be related to your instruction, or how you might just share them for fun as a way of letting your community get to know you better, or getting to know them. Which of them should be public or not? Then your next exercise is going to be to work on a schedule for discussion prompts. I'm showing a sample here of possible posts for this very class. Think of this schedule as a kind of lesson plan for how your posts will unfold. In most use cases, you want your posts to be as open-ended as possible, as the beginning of a dialogue, not a monologue that people are just listening to. That said, these will be only one part of the conversation. This is your planning to start the discussion, but in most cases you'll want to participate with more ad hoc posts as the discussion unfolds, responding to other people's comments or questions. On many platforms, this will be very similar to the discussions on our Moodle forum. There are columns for media and links. With the more visual tools like Instagram and Pinterest, you'll need to think about what photos you can take or what visual resources you can share as a visual discussion prompt, and what captions or comments can help get the discussion going using the comments section and hashtags. Visuals can really help to get people's attention, so you may even want to think about what visual resources you can link to from other kinds of posts, even in a forum, for example. You may also want to draft some posts to try to recruit learners. Think about their motivation to join your learning community and where and how you're most likely to reach them. If you like, you can test some of these out when you're interacting with your partner this week. You may even want to try out role-playing some of the alternative discussion techniques you brainstormed last week. Along with length of posts, for different social media platforms, you need to be aware of expectations for frequency of posts on each. It can vary wildly depending on the platform you've chosen. For my sample, I chose Twitter, and I scheduled at least two posts a day based on the beginner level shown in this chart. This is a good guide to different levels of commitment, depending on your learning objectives, and, of course, your avail availability to keep up with all of this. These are mostly for asynchronous discussions, putting out a post, and getting responses gradually over a few days or a week. In some cases, you may want to use a synchronous platform or at least one that you can use in a synchronous way. For example, you might schedule a real-time class discussion in a Google Hangout, or in Second Life, or as a live Twitter chat. In that case, your frequency might be asking a new question of the group every 10 minutes or so, whatever is appropriate to your discussion. You still might have resources that you want to share or link to at different points in the discussion, so you can also indicate that in your schedule. Here's our donut example again. As you're drafting your discussion prompts for a couple of different platforms, you'll also need to think about the differences in tone. 